National Periodic Table Day National Periodic Table Day is a holiday that's celebrated on February 7th every year and is a holiday that is designed to recognize the first table of elements that was created during the 19th century. Although Johann Doberiner tried to organize the elements, it wouldn't be until 1863 that English chemist John Newlands would publish the first ever table of elements. He divided the 56 elements of the time in 11 groups and arranged them according to elements' atomic weights. This holiday was first celebrated on February 7, 2016. This is when Mr. David T. Steinecker decided to celebrate the table of elements. Mr. Steinecker was an author, chemistry teacher and inventor who recognized the importance of the table of elements and decided to dedicate a day to it. From that point on, the holiday has continued to be celebrated over the years. No one can probably discuss the history of the periodic table without first recognizing the work that was accomplished by Johann Deverreiner. This German chemist laid the groundwork for the periodic table of elements. His experiments with hydrogen ignition on contact with powdered platinum led the Swedish chemist J.J. Berzelis to develop catalysis and he showed that in each triad of elements, the main of the lightest and heaviest elements approximated the middle element's atomic weight. This would lay the groundwork for Johann Doberiner's periodic table. In 1864, English chemist John Newlands suggests that when the elements were ordered according to atomic weight, any of the elements showed properties similar to those of the elements placed eight places behind and eight places ahead. He organized these into a list that he called the Law of Octaves. When Newlands came out with his original periodic table, he left empty spaces for missing elements, but the version that he published in 1866 didn't have these open slots. As a result, other chemists either openly mocked him or raised objections about the table on the basis that it couldn't accommodate new elements. The Chemical Society even refused to publish his paper. His table's poor reception doesn't malign the achievements that his table managed to achieve. It was the first time anyone used a series of ordinal numbers to organize the elements and is widely seen as setting the stage for modern periodic table. This holiday can be celebrated by spending some time thinking about the history of periodic table or by engaging in periodic table trivia with friends and family.